drawing. All right, everybody. Um, today I've got a new video for you. This is going to be on how to install a ROM on the Droid Razor um, using SafeStrap 3.11. Um, this is basically the first ROM I've seen out that is based on the Jelly Bean uh, OTA update that I have on this phone right now. Like I say, this is Droid Razor, Droid Razor Max. So let me just kind of get into some of the prerequisites you're going to need for installing this. So first thing you're going to need is you're going to need to have, well actually let's go back here. Let's go to settings, about phone on the bottom down here. And you're going to make have to make sure that you are running Android 4.1.2. And this is, again, like I said, this is the Droid Razor uh, Max, which is the XT912 right there. So if you have those two things, you're going to go into your app drawer. And you need to make sure that you guys have, where is it at now? Right here, Super User, which gives you root access or root access. Um, and then right here you have to have SafeStrap 3 installed, which I do, and it needs to be 3.11. So you have those things running on your device. If you want to know how to do any of that, I have videos on my YouTube channel. Please check it out. I'll try to put links in the description down below. So once you got those things, we're going to go into a file manager, and I want to show you guys where I have downloaded my, um, here we go downloads right here. I've downloaded this ROM right here. This is uh, BDH Jelly Bean ROM 2.1 zip and it is basically stock Jelly Bean, Motorola Jelly Bean except for all of the extra apps have been removed and it's stripped down to the bare minimum um, but I'm going to show you guys how to install that file right there. Also you can see right here I have Razer M Launcher um, and circle widgets. So I'm going to probably try to put that on there also. So this will end up with the circle widget. So I'll show you that. So you need these two files. Um, you need safe strap three. If you want to add any of the Motorola, Motorola uh, apps, you can go in here to the bloated apps, which I've also downloaded. And you can manually download any of these you want on your device. They're all included in, on this link I will put in the description of the video. So, you got all those files. We're going to go ahead and power off the device. And we'll power back up and boot into SafeStrap 3.11. And we will have to activate a ROM slot, so I will show you that. Power on the device. When it comes up with the SafeStrap splash screen, you can hit the menu button or you can hit the search button. Search will just bypass SafeStrap and boot up whatever ROM slot you are on. Or menu will enter safe strap right there. You can see that was the safe strap splash screen. So we are now going to enter into safe strap mode. And the first thing you want to do if you've not come in here before is you want to do a backup of your stock system. Right now it's in red. And you can come down here and you can hit backup by swiping across there. I've already done that, so I'm not going to bother with it. I'm going to go in here to uh, boot options. And you see you have four ROM slots and you have your stock ROM. I was running stock ROM right there. I'm going to activate a ROM slot, so I'm going to go in here like this. I'm going to pick my uh, data partition, which means how much data I can store on this ROM slot. Um, and I'm going to tell it I'm going to go 2 gigs. So um, it is going to create a ROM slot here by hitting this button. This process right here is probably going to take... I would give it at least 10 minutes. It's going to take a while. It's got to create everything, a virtual ROM slot for you um, on your SD card so we're just going to let this thing run and I'll pause and come back to it when it is done being created all right guys it just finished uh, creating that ROM slot under ROM slot 1 and um, you can see right here it says ROM slot off is actually what it says so we're gonna actually because no no ROM slot is activated right now but we we, we created a ROM slot on ROM slot 1 so now you can go into it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit set nickname. And I'm going to just name this so I know what it is. Um, we're going to call this stock because that's basically what it is. And I'm going to do stock dash JB for jelly bean and hit go. And then you can see it's set as a nickname. I'm going to hit activate. 
and now you can see right here it says stock jelly bean and it says ROM slot 1 so that is the ROM slot you are now gonna anything you do in the phone now gets done to that ROM slot and not your stock slot over here so if we go back now you can see that installs is now not in red because you're on a ROM slot and it's in white so the first thing you're gonna do anytime you flash a ROM you don't have to do this on the first one because there's nothing on it yet but anytime you would do anything else you'd probably want to do a backup and then you'd want to go to wipes and there's a bunch of things you're gonna wipe so I'm just gonna do it just so you guys can see you're actually gonna wipe your 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 cache partition your Delvic factory reset system alright so now you have a clean slate um, and you're good to go on those things and we can go back we can go to install um, we're gonna go look for the ROM and it should be on external so I'm gonna go up um, downloads actually we're gonna go up a couple times here scroll SD extension uh, what is it under here there it is SD extension and then downloads okay so here we go here's the ROM it is the BDH jelly bean ROM so I'm gonna click on it you want to make sure it's listed up here which it is and then all you have to do is hit flash so this is gonna flash everything here's a little animation there it's gonna flash everything uh, to ROM slot 1 which you can see is still activated up on the top when it is done, um, you don't have to flash any G-gaps. They are included in this file. So when it's done, we just have to go in and reboot. Um, when you reboot any kind of ROM, pretty much you want to give a thing 10 minutes to boot up. If it doesn't boot in 10 minutes, something happened, you have a bad download, something else, you probably need to do a reset of your phone, pull the battery, whatever you want to do. Um, and then reboot and safe strap either reflash a different one or go back to stock system do whatever you can wipe it all off and flash a different ROM or try redownloading it and flashing it again something like that but if everything goes smoothly should all boot up so I'm gonna let this thing run and I will get back to you as soon as it's finishing installing okay so we just finished uh, flashing the ROM now um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit reboot system now uh, if you want any of the other applications, you can do that once you're in the ROM, the ones I showed you, those debloated applications in that file explorer. Um, I'm also going to try to boot this up first. If everything goes smoothly, I'm going to show you guys how to install the um, Circle Widget Zip. But let's go ahead and reboot. And um, everything should go smooth here. I want to see what the boot animation is. Then I'm going to pause again, let this thing uh, load, and then I'll get into the ROM overview of what's in there, show you the features, and we'll go from there. So now you can see in Safe Strap, we have uh, Safe Strap enabled. And if you don't touch anything, it'll boot right past it in 10 seconds. There we go. So now we're going to see what our animation is. I'm going to guess it's probably just stock uh, droid animation, but we're going to see what we have. There we go. So you are looking at your stock uh, droid razor animation. No audio on that, which is a little interesting. But, uh, alright, so I'm going to pause here and we'll come back to it when it boots. Alright, so we passed up boot animation. Um, took about 3-4 minutes. And we got to the preparing device screen you see right here. And just going to wait for this to finish, so we're halfway there. Alright, so as you can see, we have booted up. I'm going to go ahead and hit start. Next. Uh, next. Skip. Checking media. All right. Next. Next. Pick your launcher. So that's what this says. Sorry if you guys can't see it. It does come with Apex launcher or just your normal home launcher. I'm gonna load Apex launcher because I like it better. Well, actually, we'll do home just to show you guys. Um, just once for now. And log through those. Shabam! So, as you can see, this is stock um, razor here. Let's get rid of some notifications here. Um, 
and we're gonna go into this and show you guys the applications it comes with so we have ad free this blocks a bunch of your ads coming into all your apps most of them anyway at least keeps them from updating so that's pretty cool you have apex launcher apollo your browser they he added in cpu sleeper Let's see what else we have here um ba -ba -ba. you got um sms flash super user and that's 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 your apps right there very much deep bloated got rid of almost all the motorola uh junk but I'm going to show you guys how to install any of those other applications if you want them. So we're going to go to uh, SD card, downloads, and I have the debloated zip right here, which I have extracted into this file. And it should be all the APKs of basically all the other applications that normally would come with the Droid Razor. So the one that I like to use a lot is called, if I can find it here, Quick Office. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this. And we got to go into settings, and you have to check unknown sources right here so it can install these. And then hit it again and hit install. And now Quick Office will install. So you can do that with any of those apps, um, and it'll install them so that you have any of the apps you like that come with Verizon, and you can keep the ones you don't, don't really want to have on there. Keep them off. So that's very nice. So hit done. Go out of this. We're going to go back to the home screen. And you can see now that Quick Office right here is installed. So I like that feature that now you can kind of choose the apps you want to install. I think that's very nice. Um, I did hear that Super User right here will continue to ask for root permission when it shouldn't. Um, just updating the Sue binaries right here. Access grant allowed. Okay. All right. So I just updated the sue binaries. Um, it shouldn't keep asking for it, but it is. I've heard that installing uh, Super Sue uh, on top of this, like right now, just leave Super User in there, but install Super Sue and then allow Super Sue to ask for a root permission does fix that issue. Haven't tried it myself yet, but uh, that is what we got here. So this looks like a pretty sweet, stable setup. Um, basically exactly stock, rooted, um, tweaked for speed. Let me ask, read to you guys a couple of the uh, tweaks on it. Like you saw the applications that were in it. It does have full init D support, kernel logging disable for speed, um, Delvic, uh, I'm sorry, increased Delvic VM heap for more speed, improved scrolling, changed the default GPS service to Google, init D battery tweaks, um, so a bunch of other little tweaks in there to make this thing run uh, better even though it is stock it should run a lot better and faster so that looks pretty cool I'm gonna reboot and I'm gonna try to install the circle widget mod and get that launcher in there so I'm gonna pause here I'm gonna reboot into safe strap so we're gonna power off shut down and reboot into safe strap when it boots up I'll show you how to do that all right hit menu this should load up safe strap and come on now anytime I flash anything to a ROM after I've installed a ROM I go ahead and I do a wipe of Delvic it never hurts to do this and Delvic I'm sorry cache and Delvic cache so it never hurts to do this when you're installing something new it does take longer to boot back up when you're done but always a good thing to do so then right down here I have this Razer M launcher plus or and circle zip so I'm gonna hit that make sure it's still in there which it is and I'm gonna flash it um, very quick I'm gonna reboot system and see if I messed it up or see if uh, everything goes smoothly here and I'll show you the launcher we'll have to pick that launcher on startup I think and uh, it should be should be good to go so let's let's uh, give it a sec here and see uh, see how it uh, loads up all right guys looks like we're just about done here got about Two more, three more, one more. All right, starting apps. Hopefully this will boot up fairly smoothly. And there we go. Everything looks, whoops, sorry for the bump of the camera there. Everything looks uh, pretty good. Let's go ahead and do this. So let's go ahead and hit home. I think this is gonna work. Let's do always. All right. Okay. Aha, check it out. 
So this is the Droid Razor Launcher, and if you want the Circle Widget, we're going to close this. We're going to go into Apps, go over here, and right there it is. And uh, come on, shabam! There you go. That is the Circle Widgets plus the Quick Toggles to the one side, and you can flick them or flick them or flick them change cities whatever you want to do and scroll this way and keep scrolling and if you keep going this will just allow you to add one or a template or something like that for another page so now you're basically got the droid razor m launcher with circle widgets running this jelly bean rom and that looks pretty slick i'm gonna I'm, i think i'm gonna stick with this setup right here this looks real nice so guys, I'm sorry for how long this was. I really hope you enjoyed it, got something out of it, learned a little something. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel down below. Check check out, out my YouTube channel. I've got my Twitter feed on there. You probably, I'll put it right up here. And um, please subscribe. We'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.